Looks like his father, of course, who's a good looking baby. Saul Alvarez never thought he'd live to see this day. I was told I was never gonna be able to have kids. It was a long, hard road to get here. Saul lost his first child, a little girl, and her mother in a drunk driving accident. Then Saul was diagnosed with cancer, twice. While still battling cancer, Saul fell in love, got married, and started thinking about having another child. But chemo was a problem. My sperm count went from being healthy to being completely at zero. Uh, that, was, um, that was a big shock for me. Another issue, Saul's age. He was in his mid-50s. Male infertility specialist Ranjith Ramasamy says that after age 40, a man's sperm begins to mutate. The number of mutations in sperm continue to accumulate. There are more genetic changes that, uh, you know, the body doesn't correct anymore. The most common conditions associated with advanced paternal age are neuropsychiatric disorders. There's also an increased risk for leukemia and lymphomas. A 2021 study found that when a male in a couple was over 40, there were 20 to 40 percent more miscarriages. Dr. Ramasamy used medications used in women to boost egg counts to boost hormones in the pituitary glands and testosterone levels in Saul. After a year and a half of fertility treatments, this is our son, Alexander Rama Alvarez. Alexander's middle name, Rama, in honor of the doctor who helped make Saul's dream of becoming a father again a reality. I'm Marty Salt reporting.